What's up guys, welcome to the Stats Free Sports channel. Let's get right into it. Here to bring you a video giving you the top three landing spots for a soon to be free agent, Leonard Fournette. And let's talk about it. So Leonard Fournette will be cut by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on March 15th, the first official day of NFL free agency. It's no surprise to me. You know, I mentioned in, in, in other videos, my only regret is I never did a, a full video on it. Uh, I did one on Dalvin Cook and a bunch of other people. I also did my part one and part two of my Cap Casualty series. I forgot to put Leonard Fournette. He was going to be, I was going to do a video on him in, uh, individually, the same way I did one on Dalvin Cook, Keenan Allen, Aaron Jones, guys like like uh, those. But end up not doing it. Uh, he slipped through the cracks, and I forgot to add him to the, my official list. But I didn't mention it in the old videos. There's no surprise. The Bucks are $56 million over the cap. Um, they're going to take on Tom Brady's, I think, $31.5 million cap hit. You know, so they're definitely going to make some uh, cuts, some more moves. I will look for a left tackle. Was it? I think it was left tackle. Yeah, the left tackle, Donovan Smith. He should be cut also. Uh, you know, so they're going to make some more moves, some restructures, things things like, like that. Um, so, yeah, there's no, no surprise here. But I'm going to give you my top three landing spots for the running back. You know, he has a small market, in my opinion. You know, um, I don't. I don't think he's a lead back um, right now, or at least not for long term. But I think uh, he can definitely give you some good moments, uh, be a part of a good running back group, uh, probably a good, a good a good duo trio. But probably lean, lean towards a duo. He's not, you know, uh, he's not that bad where he can't be a part of a duo. So uh, let's get into it. This is no order, just top three teams in general. Number one, the most obvious pick to me, New Orleans Saints. Uh, he's he's from the area. Also, uh, he also is a, a former member of the, of the NFC South. You know, and I always say this. When players get free agency, they love to stay in the same division. It always happens. You see it often. Him going to the Saints makes sense. Also, Alvin Kamara. Well, he'll be uh, suspended for that incident that happened in Vegas last year. That's that's no not, that's, that's up in the air, honestly. And even if he if he isn't suspended, they still always carry a bunch of running backs. You know, they have they always pair uh, Kamara with a, with a couple of guys, um, Mark Ingram, Taysom Hill. You know, who's a running back, tight end, quarterback. They also have um, Latavius Murray. So they always try to carry a bruiser with with Alvin um, Kamara. I think signing uh, Fournette would be a great move there. He should be pretty cheap, but they also have some cap uh, space to kind of make. You know, they're also in the negative by thirty million. So I expect some restructuring cuts. Same from the Saints, but they definitely will probably add a running back to pair with uh, Alvin Kamara if he misses games or not. Which he might miss games. You know, I don't. I don't know. Uh, last year when it happened, the footage wasn't out. You know, so. Um, we'll see what happens there, but as of right now, no, no suspension talks, but, uh, you know, they, like I said, they normally carry a bruiser and I think, uh, Mark Ingram, Murray are free agents. So why not bring in, uh, Fournette, a hometown guy, same we did, uh, to Tyron Matthew last year, bring in a, a veteran from the area, want to come home, you know, it, it makes sense to me. So, uh, that's perfect fit there. Next, the Eagles. Number two, the Eagles. I think they're a great fit also. Uh, the report is right now that Miles Sanders will not be back with the team next season. You know, that, that's a report I've been seeing everywhere. Uh, Miles Sanders will walk in free agency. They will not try to bring him back. And Kenneth Gainwell will be, will be running back one. A lot of rumors speculating about the Eagles. They're going to get B. John Robinson. They're going to get Jameer Gibbs. I don't think so. It's still possible. You know, they do have a couple of holes on, um, on their current roster, but not too many. So they can definitely afford a first-round pick to draft one of those two guys. But I think going with a vet, going with a power back like uh, Fournette would be a great move behind Kane, behind Gainwell, behind Boston Scott. I think there will be a nice change of pace back, a nice bruiser, someone you can still catch out the backfield. So I like that move there. If they don't go um, – with a guy like B. John Robinson or Jameer, Jameer Gibbs. But free agency does happen first, you know, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, he, they, they can still incorporate um, Fournette if they draft one of those two guys, but it kind of takes away, you know, because Scott isn't a do-it-all back, you know. So, uh, you know, if they have plans to draft uh, one of those running backs, then they probably won't get Fournette. 
So, you know, so we'll see what happens there. And last, number three, the L.A. Chargers. The L.A. Chargers, to me, make a lot of sense. They just brought in offensive coordinator um, Kellen Moore from Dallas Cowboys. He had Tony Pollard and Zeke for the last couple of years. He said in his opening conference, uh, in, his, in an opening press conference, he said himself, he likes the two-back system. You know, so in, in this system here, as of right now, as of right now in his current system, Auckland at Austin Eckler, excuse me, is more of the Tony Pollard back. So I think bringing in a big power back, kind of past his prime, like Zeke. And I don't think Fournette is that far like how Zeke is. But, uh, you know, he's definitely not prime uh, Lenny Fournette from the Jaguars. But you bring, him, bring in a nice power back, short yardage plays, goal line stuff, you know. And also, like I said, Fournette can still – spot start or you no know, carry the load in certain spots certain moments just like zeke can you know so that that makes the most sense there as well when that zeke plus uh parlor duo eckler fits the pollard and zeke and fournette fits the uh zeke uh part of the equation so those three teams to me um the saints the eagles and the chargers are the only and probably best fits honestly you know there might be some surprise team here or there i'm not thinking of but right now those three are the only ones to me that stand out that say, hey, they most they make 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 the most sense. Um, if you want to go four and stretch it out, or I guess an honorable mention, I could go the the Bills, but um, you know, they've they've got a collection of nice veteran running backs they've had over the past couple of years. Zach Moss, Hines, Singletary, they had a, the young guy Cook. You know, so they, they had a bunch of young a, a bunch of uh running backs the last few years. And none has worked out. As I keep saying in, in, in Bill's center videos, they need to get the O-line right first. You know, so if they get a, a running back in a draft or for agency, they have to combo that with a couple of O-line moves. You know, but I don't think they really need running back, honestly. I really don't. I think they can just be fine with what they have with Hines and, and Cook, Singletary is a free agent. So they see what so I'm curious to see what, what they do with him. But they need to work on the O line first and foremost. You know, so forget about a running back. In, in my opinion, if if you're the Bills, get the O line squared away first. Get get some guys in there who can run block, who can open up holes, open open up lanes, and then you know, see what Cook has, see what Hines has. Bring back Singletary on a one year deal or whatever you want to do. Sign Fournette. But as of right now, I'm good on them adding any running back until they get the O line right first. So. Or unless they have a plan for that. If they have a plan for that, then sign and draft someone. If you don't, you know, find O lineman first, and then you worry about that later. Get a nice veteran late, uh, late, late, late later on because you often find a nice veteran running back anywhere or a one in the draft late, fourth, fifth, sixth round, and they can be star potential or starter potential the first year or so. So you know, and they're cheap, so uh, you can find that all the time, often. So uh, I like a couple. I like a lot of these running backs, honestly. Like like a lot of these guys. Uh, you know, later in, in the draft, you know, so we'll see where it goes there. But those are my three teams plus the honorable mention. That's it for video, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.